Welcome back to another MLAB tutorial. Today we're going to be continuing our conversation from last week about automation. Uh, we did get uh, through the first couple of questions in one tutorial, but uh, we do have a couple more to tackle. Uh, today we're actually going to be talking about how to copy large chunks of automation curves from one area of a track to another. Um, and of course this is to create continuity and consistency throughout your track, especially when you're dealing with uh, volume changes between um, versus choruses, or maybe you're dealing with modulation changes across um, a fairly complexly programmed synth or something to where it's not just as easy as going in and making a couple of clicks and it's done. Um, you set up some rather complex situations, and when you go to replicate that later, um, without actually using a copy function, it's going to be incredibly difficult to, to, to dial it in exactly the same. And chances are you're never really going to get it exactly the same um, without spending more time than you really want to on it. Okay, uh, So this is just going to be a very, very quick uh, run through of how to actually use uh, copy functions. Now, they're, they're not necessarily uh, blatantly clear in most DAWs. So um, if you are one of those asking a question of how you how you do these things, um, don't feel bad. It's not like there was a, a manual set out in front of you with that highlighted uh, when you first started. So um, we're just going to dive right in. Uh, we don't even need audio for this. I think everyone is pretty familiar with the idea of automation these days. Um, so I'm just going to make a whole bunch of little points and move them here and there and uh, we'll make something that looks somewhat complex for you. And we'll try and keep this to about eight bars, so it's a fairly relevant tutorial. <laughs> um, all right, so let's just imagine that we've gone in here with um, you know our curve tool and we've we've made this extra fancy and there are serious changes happening here that, you know, they're just going to be incredibly difficult, like I said earlier, to replicate and have be um, perfect uh, when you go try and recreate them later. So uh, there's our, our complex uh, set of uh, curves. Now, let's just say that these eight bars turned out like magic. They were just absolutely perfect. For the next eight bars um, in your project, you have... Uh, no interest in that kind of modulation from that synth, okay? But the following eight bars, um, you'd love it if you could match all of those modulation changes exactly, okay? Because it was just so good, all right? So what we're going to do is um, just run through your two main options here, okay? Um, the first one is to actually use a tool that is specifically designed to grab onto um, an automation curve, Okay, and in Logic Pro, you actually have the option of setting up a left click and a right click tool um, before you even start working in your project. You can change it at any time, of course. Um, this is the automation select tool, and if you're if you're um, if you're using your right click function here, um, you can see that your mouse icon changes there, and you hold down the shift, and you can continue to grab as many of these curves as you'd like. Okay. Um, it, it, it functions much like selecting um, many different items at once in your finder or browser, okay? Uh, now, the other way, and this is the way that I normally go about doing it, is just using a typical marquee tool. By default, um, I think pretty much all DAWs these days, your, um, your right-hand tool is your, or your secondary tool, whatever it's called in your specific DAW. Um, is set to be a marquee tool. And, and uh, just so you know, the, the mouse icon that you see right now is just a simple pointer uh, tool, and this is the marquee tool. Okay, so um, you select your marquee tool, and then you just click and drag over the entire area of automation curves that you would like to copy over, and then just simply hold whatever your copy key is on a Mac, it's Alt Option, um, and you drag it out. Now, like I said, we didn't want any of this modulation present in the next eight bars, but after that, we've got some interest. Okay, so I think what we would do is probably see something like this. Okay, we've got, uh, Let's say this automation went all the way down, this went all the way down, so at the beginning of the next eight bars, this needs to be up right before you start playing for that uh, modulation to catch 
uh, when the first MIDI is triggered. So there you go. It's just as simple as that. And you can do that as many times as you like. Now, you can also use a copy function as a creative tool. Let's say you're, you're in a very experimental mood and you're kind of testing the waters with some really random ideas. Uh, one way to take advantage of curves that you've already set up or, or sets of curves that you've already set up for a sound, um, especially with modulation, is to um, go ahead and select all of it and then uh, you start to copy but you don't actually move it all the way. You see how uh, logic is this DAW. Uh, see how it, it has a memory. It has a rather elastic memory. It remembers what um, automation points were there before you went over it. Um, and let's say you like part of this modulation and you really just kind of want to remix it and kind of give it a new, you know, a little refresh. Um, so a good way to do that is is stop dragging uh, part way over what, what you're copying from. And it'll actually create a new curve in the middle of that region. And then you can do that again and again and again. And of course, eventually you start bumping into the area that we copied earlier. Um, but you can see now that there are actually some fairly unique um, and different curves. And then there are these familiar um, reprises, if you will. All right, so just a couple of ideas of how you can actually use automation copy functions in your own projects. Um, we hope this helped. We hope it cleared up the uh, questions that people had about copying automation and that this makes it easy for you moving forward. Um, good luck in using it in your very next project. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.